So, my buddy and I, Otis, were talking about creativity. You know, we're both uh, artists, I would say. We went to art school back in Atlanta. We're talking about creativity, and he uh, came up with this brilliant session or this brilliant series called Creative Corner. And we were talking, and it seems like it's a, it's a video series about creative people, you know, artists, uh, photographers, uh, dancers, musicians. And I was thinking, I was saying, wow, now that he and I have transitioned from being artists, uh, quote unquote, to uh, business owners and executives, you know, I'm an executive coach now, uh, how does that play out? How does that translate into business, creative, uh, creativity, creative corner? I started thinking, well, you know, there's really no difference between uh, his interviews with those creative folks and the people that I try to work with to instill that type of creativity into them. Where does that creativity come from, I ask myself. Uh, because the same creativity juices that flow from that artist, from uh, that musician, from that sculpture, are, can be the same flow, uh, creative juices that that creative uh, that art directors and business owners and uh, executives use in the corporate arena. So that's how we got to this place where we're talking about creativity and where does it reside and where does it live and how do you extract that creativity in the corporate world as an executive, as a CEO, as an executive director to be just as creative as that artist, as that musician, as that dancer who danced that ballerina. Where, is that, where does it flow from? And that's what we're going to talk about. Creative leadership is all about being really innovative, being open to new ideas, uh, letting ideas flow and not being worried about uh, traditional ways of doing things. It's about really tapping into some energy that uh, you might not have used before. It's about being able to uh, you know, develop you know, those ideas from a place of just observing other people, working with other people uh, in your, on your team asking for new ideas, being open to those ideas, and really taking those ideas and implementing them. And just letting things flow, be loose with it. Uh, you know, those, those are the things that help these companies that we've seen uh, create innovative new ideas and new products and services in the marketplace. Uh, and every, you know, every executive, every CEO needs to have a level of creativity to stimulate the other team to make them better uh, and make them more creative as well. Perseverance. I was talking to my buddy about uh, his uh, videos uh, featuring the, uh, the the creative people, creative corner. He called it. Uh, he, created, he interviewed actors. And I was thinking about actors and actors go on these auditions. And man, actors will make, may go on auditions uh, for months or years and never get a part. Uh, my son was an actor. He was uh, about nine, ten years old. He would go on these auditions and uh, you know, read for these parts and. He would do a great job, but he hardly ever got the part. And every now and then, he would get the part. And he said, Dad, boy, I just really don't know if I want to continue to do that. But it's about perseverance. And so an actor, think about these actors. We always think about the actors that we see constantly on, on TV series and TV shows. But what about the ones who we never see? <laughs> that is the thing. It takes perseverance. And really, when you talk about that creativity part, you've got to be creative enough to be able to uh, roll with the punches and be tolerant. Uh, and be able to overcome obstacles as an actor, as a CEO, as an exec director, you have to have the same type of perseverance to be creative enough. How do you get creative enough to get up every morning as an actor and do another audition, another audition after you've done the last one and the last one and the last one? How do you get up as a CEO uh, and do the same thing and not be uh, bored and not get stuck or an exec director uh, with the corporation, well, you have to have creative perseverance. I think that's really critical uh, in becoming a great creative leader. Willing to take a risk. When I was talking to my buddy about uh, his creative corner uh, videos, when he interviewed uh, the creative people, like the actors and the musicians and the dancers, wow, the dancers, who have to come out on stage and they went through this elaborate choreography and they're taking a risk every time they go out there to try it. Uh, how do you come up with that creativity juice to say, hey, do it again. Uh, you missed that step, uh, do it again. 
uh, that wasn't right, do it again. That willingness to take a risk every time uh, takes a lot of creativity and a great creative leader, a great leader has to have the creativity to take a risk and to be able to make changes and be, able to be tolerant uh, when they make mistakes. Creativity also includes the willingness to grow and be open, to be open. Man, when I think about being open, and uh, I think about photographers. And, you know, uh, my buddy Otis was a photographer back in art school. Uh, we were in art school back in Atlanta, and uh, I remember him late nights in the, in the dark room, uh, you know, fiddling around with the film and working in the dark rooms. And he got, he's gone now from the dark rooms to the computer because we've gone from, you know, uh, film to digital. Uh, you got to be able to be able to be open to that, to be open to that technology change and the shift and how things flow, the ebb and flow of change. So when we talk about executives, when we talk about uh, CEOs, they have to have a willingness to be open. What does openness mean? It means that you have to be able to uh, be open to people's ideas, to be open to innovative ideas and different demographics of people, millennials, baby boomers, Gen Xs. You know, we're in a different uh, place right now in the corporate arena. There's four generations working together, um, and a CEO or executive or, or a leader has to be flexible, to be open enough to, to, to be able to uh, be willing to grow with that demographic, with those demographics, and to be able to go to a place that none of us, none of us have ever seen before. You know, tolerance comes to mind when I think about creativity because think about that painter. Think about that painter who's an artist. Uh, let's think about that uh, abstract painter who has a blank canvas and they start painting and don't, they don't really know where they're going to end up because there's some ambiguity in the process of painting uh, that, that abstract piece. Uh, as they start to paint, things start to flow. They go, to, go into some sort of direction that they didn't really know they were going to. Uh, go into and they begin to see the big picture, they begin to see how this canvas unfolds. Same applies to leadership, uh, executive uh, leadership, CEOs and executives. There has to be tolerance for ambiguity, change, because things change uh, at, on, on, on a dime in corporate America in the business arena. So we have to have that ability to be able to uh, be like that artist who comes to the canvas with with a blank slate, with nothing on the canvas and nothing but their 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 paints and their brushes, and we create uh, the imagery of of what we want to be as a leader. So it takes it takes uh, ambiguity, a tolerance, to be able to do that as a leader uh, uh, in the corporate world as well.